So I originally started this video as the first video of running the car, testing the water meth in the car. And the moment I go turn the car on, it started doing this. So we're getting our log going up here. Hey, what's going on? Why is it camming out? Did you just hear that? What is it doing? Oh, and it just died on me. Oh, well, that's interesting. The car was running perfectly fine. And I came home, I stuck the hose here to cool it off as I was making the intro part of the video and now it's being weird. I'm gonna check a couple things. Fine there, that's still fine there. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay, well maybe I got a vacuum leak, but no, no I do not. Now tell me how that makes any sense. Yeah, the car was camming out, man. I mean, that'd be cool if it was like a ghost cam tune I was working on, but I'm not. Yeah, that's there like that, that's there like that. I if it threw any codes. It's not how I planned this video to go. Never know with this car. Holy crap. How can it be running perfectly fine and then not? So let me see if there's any codes. It's really annoying. O2 sensor signal biased stuck rich. What? Now how does that happen? Did the O2 sensor really just crap out on me? And <laughs> before you say anything. It is not the seafoam, because little do you know, no seafoam actually went in the gas tank, so don't even try it. Wouldn't that be some crap? I'm sitting here trying to make a video on my methanol system, and then the O2 sensor craps out. And I don't understand, I'm telling you, literally, I just came home from getting the heat at Wally World, and... It was fine, perfectly fine. I took a log even to verify some things before I did this test. It was perfectly fine. Um, let's see if I clear it. Clear DCT. That's upsetting. I mean, look, I was going to replace the O2 sensor and the, um, what do you call it? The fuel, low fuel pressure sensor. When, as I started tuning, tuning, which I guess I have started tuning, tuning, but. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Well, I'll be. Looks like this video ain't going the way I planned. Uh, huh. Looks like I ain't going anywhere either. And it looks like I'm gonna be spending about $80 that I really didn't want to spend right now um, on a new O2 sensor. I just love how this car picks and chooses when to just stop working. O2 sensor works fine one minute, craps out. Engine's working fine one minute, next minute craps out. Seems to be the way of this, the way this car works. I guess there's not much else I can do right now. Cause I'm gonna have to go looking around for parts and when my other half comes back with the focus, I'll be taking that and grabbing a new O2 sensor. So I guess that's pretty much the end of that. Uh, hopefully it really is only an O2 sensor. So I don't even understand how it just, I don't know. This car is full of surprises. Fix a repair daily. Woo! <laughs> you think I make this crap up? No, this is real life right now. The other stuff I may make up. This is real life. So I guess I'll update you once I figure out if the O2 sensor is the culprit and if that irons things out and then um, I'll resume the water meth video. <laughs> but until then, you know what to do. Just keep a lookout for the next 
Cars created video. <laughs>